Mike, uh, I guess as, as much as you feel like you can share, has Jalen been able to do more in practice, especially maybe having this this full week off? What has he been able to do? Where is he status-wise before Saturday's game? Well, today we're going to start him out on the floor and see if he can go practice. You know, the last few days he's kind of shot around and done some things and, and he's moving around. So today we're going to let him bang a little bit and see where he is tomorrow. All right, Tom, then Mike. Mike, you've uh, dealt with back issues back in the day yourself, obviously. Uh, um, with what Jalen's going through, is that uh, do you pay any more extra attention to what it is? Or uh, obviously, it's a different thing than what you went through. But I, you know what backs are like. I mean, you are you trying to be as patient as you can, or, or where do you kind of stand with all that? Well, again, you got to be patient with it. Um, and then I think the player itself will lead you in the direction, you know, that he wants to go. Um, you know, from a medical standpoint, I think he's fine in that regard. But again, you know, when you can't do the things that you used to doing on the floor or move around like you used, like you normally do, then that's a problem. And uh, that's what he was experiencing. And the last few days, he's been on the floor shooting and moving around and got a good workout on our off day yesterday. And so now we'll see if can he handle the, the pounding a little bit today in practice and then see how he feels tomorrow. All right, Mike, then Todd. Hey coach, just watching Kansas on film this week, what's keeping you up at night on them on both ends of the court? Well, they're well coached. You know, I know, I've known Bill for many years. I've watched his team all the time when I was coaching in the NBA, you know, because of our relationship. And he's a hell of a coach. They, his teams always play hard. They do on both ends of the floor. Um, and, you know, they got, you know, Wilson and the kid Bird um, that are, I mean, not Bird, but Dick, uh, Dick that can really score the basketball. For a freshman, he's really, really good. Uh, so, I mean, and they play well at home. I mean, if you look at their record over the last, you know, 16, 17 years or so, they, they haven't lost very many games at home. So we're going to have to go in there and commit to 40 minutes and do it on both ends of the floor and, and, and see where we see what happens. You know, I, I know one thing, we can't come out and start a game like we did against Arizona and, and dig a hole and, and expect to win. You know, I mean, that was that was tough the other night, uh, although we fought back and did a lot of good things uh, against good teams. You just, you know, you got to be in the game early and, and give yourself a chance. Todd and Wilson. Mike, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but when you were playing at Indiana, you were 3-0 and as a player against uh, defending national champions. Um, is there anything you can impart from your experience of the antis anticipation of playing in a game like that? And, and also generally, how much do you like to use your own playing experience as a teaching tool? Well, you know, I always tell these players, it's really not about me. You know, my day, you know, is behind me in terms of when I played. Um, um, and I didn't know that stat either that you just threw out there. Um, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, you, you play in a, a top ranked team, you are ranked, you know, and you're playing on their floor in front of a hostile environment. And, you know, it's kind of what you live for when you play basketball in college. Um, uh, you know, you can't run from, you know, I, I just try to get my, our players to understand that, Hey, you got to seize the moment. This is a big time uh, game. It really is going to be national televised and uh, you got a chance to go in and do something that a lot of teams hadn't done in, in, in years there. I mean, they haven't lost very many games in the last 16 or so years. I think it's like, I don't even, I don't want to say it's like maybe five, six, seven, it ain't a lot of games that they've lost there in, in that field house. So, you know, we just got to go in and, play with some confidence, that's going to be a big key and, and compete for 40 minutes. Wilson and Tyler. 
Mike, uh, when Race is knocking down threes like he was against Arizona, how does that help the other four guys on the court when he's making them like that? It helps a lot because, you know, he, he had been struggling, man. He, you know, he's had some of the same looks that he had last season that he, he was knocking down. And, uh, you know, to see him make, you know, four threes like he did, man, we needed every bit of it to even stay in the ball game. Um, but it lightens the load. Uh, for guys like Miller, who's been shooting it well, and tomorrow, and X, you know, if I can get X to make them, and you know, if we can get Jalen back, and he's knocking some down, and even uh, Gallo, you know, I mean, Gallo's been shooting a lot of them in practice, and uh, and he's been making some. So I mean, you know, when you shoot it, you got to feel good about shooting it, and uh, we put up 25 the other night. Uh, and shot, you know, a high, I think we made 10 or 11 the other night, which is good for us. Uh, but, you know, there's other parts of the game that we got to correct and, and be better at, I think. Tyler, then Pete. Hey, Coach, I uh, hope you're doing well. I um, wanted to ask about Tamar Bates. Um, what do you just enjoy about coaching him? Well, again, he's, he's playing well for us. Um, you know, I envision when I, when I bought Tamar in, I bought him in to be a starting two. And last year, you know, he had his ups and downs on some of the things that he was dealing with. And um, um, this year, you know, he's he's starting to grow as a player. I mean, uh, he's doing some things. Uh, I thought when we started our, our our journey at the very beginning, he was one of the best players on the floor, him and uh, Xavier. And... You know, he's had his moments, but he's also, you know, he's had some good games, man, that you you say, hey, he's he's starting to figure out some things and uh, we just got to keep him in a good place and and uh, keep him ready to play. Ethan Alec. Yeah, hey, Coach, can you talk a little bit about Miller Cop, not just the way he's been shooting, but defensively uh, the way he's performed? Well, you know, that's kind of a carryover from last season. Miller. I thought it became one of our best perimeter defenders last season. You guys might laugh when I say that, but, you know, watching him on tape and some of the things, he didn't get beat a whole lot. Um, you know, he still struggles just a little bit in an isolation position, but most, you know, you guard and guys like last year, Davis and guys like that, they can put the ball down and make plays off the bounce. That's a hard cover for anybody, but um, you know, it's, you know, Miller's been a nice addition to our team now. You know, I mean, he's starting to figure it out. I thought last year, I think just the Indiana Hoosier jersey that he wore, he, you know, was a bit much for him. Uh, but this season, he's he's starting to come in his own, man. He's making shots. He's defending. He's doing a lot of good things for our ball club. Thanks, Mike. Go ahead, Pete. No, I said just, that was just thanks, so. Okay. Alec, then Jack. Yeah, Coach, when you take a look at Kansas, a bit on the defensive end of the floor, obviously a little bit of a smaller front court, especially than, than what you faced against Arizona, uh, but do have some versatility uh, with their guards and on the perimeter. What about them defensively really stands out and how you're going to try to attack them on Saturday? Well, I'm sure that they'll double team, uh, you know, our bigs on the block. Uh, Race, Trace, Malik, you know, Geronimo's down there. They they double the block. And um, so, you know, we got to be ready for that. And it's not nothing new. You know, we, you know, we've seen it, you know, dating back to last season. And, you know, guys have just got to be ready to step up and make shots, you know, on the perimeter. You know, when that ball comes out and it floats around, you know, you just got to feel good about shooting it and knock them down. We do that, we'll be fine. All right, Jack. Hey, Coach, um, just in the last few games with Jalen out, how do you feel that Trey Galloway and, and Tamar have kind of responded to having to handle the ball a little bit more and uh, just, just I guess, run the offense a little bit more? They've done a pretty good job, I think. Uh, you know, when we started the journey, that was one of the things, you know, most college teams, they carry three-point guards. And we basically got two legit point guards. And so my thing was, you know, we got to develop tomorrow and Galloway and 
and, and get them in a position where they're comfortable and bringing the ball up the floor and, and making basketball plays. And they both can do that now. And Gallo's really gotten good at it. So, uh, you know, I felt pretty good. I thought in the, in the Nebraska game at home, Gallo was great in terms of uh, running the second unit until I could get X back in. So, uh, but getting Jalen back helps, man, because it gives us another guy that can run your team, uh, another guy that can score the ball and defend and, and do a lot of things at that position. All right, Tom, last one. Mike, I know uh, Logan Duncan's been sick last a little bit here, but I know earlier in the season you talked highly about how his progress was, was during the summer and such. Uh, when you're facing big teams going forward, are you are, how much are you hoping that he can uh, uh, be a factor for you uh, this year against some teams with bigger lineups? Well, again, it, it just depends. You know, I mean, uh, the other night, I mean, he, again, he hadn't really practiced to be able to throw him in the game in Arizona, so that you know, I just wouldn't be fair to him, especially against those two big guys that they had. Um, but moving forward, you know, once he, you know, gets back into some game shape and and starts practicing, you know, uh, this week was the first time we really had a chance to really get after one another. And, you know, it's been a couple of tough days of practice, you know. And so, I mean, moving forward, if he's, in a position where I can throw him in. I mean, he's done some good things for us. I mean, early on, I mean, I, and, and I mean, I date back to last season, even the little small minutes that he got last season, he was productive. So, uh, I mean, I won't be scared to throw him in uh, if there's foul trouble or anything like that, but uh, we've got to get him back physically ready. All right. Thanks coach. Thank you, Mike. Right, guys, take care.